Okay guys, I got this box in the mail a few hours after I finished filming my Alpha Omega Publications curriculum video thingy. Yeah, so I was so excited I wanted to film it then, but it was kind of late, so, so this is, yeah, the next day. Um, and I tried to do a sneak peek by opening the box and then seeing what's inside. It didn't work out because I really wanted y'all to see it when I saw it. Um, there happens to be boxes inside of this box. So, what's in my box? Why I got this curriculum um, kit, which is a science kit, um, is because, you know, in recent years, I didn't want to fork over the money. I was like, I'll go collect all those sciencey little things and we can do our science experiments. It never happened. So my kids were able to find some of the things to do some of their science experiments, but this year I was like, well, I'm going to just, you know, do the science kits and then we can have science labs and all three of them can do a little science labs together. So that's what we're doing. That's why I actually have science kits and I got this one from um, Alpha Omega Publications again. However, it doesn't come from them. It comes from homesciencetools.com. So um, I'm kind of interested on what else this company might have. Okay, without further ado, let's get in this box. This box is ginormous. Okay, it comes with a little, I don't know, win a hundred dollars gift certificate thingy. My sheet that I bought and a little magazine, cool. Anyway, they got some cool stuff. Some paper, yay! More paper! It's packaged really well. All right, so here's one box. <clears throat> Two box. Oh, wow. Ooh. Three box. I'm still here. All right, so I'm guessing this is my older daughter. She's in eighth grade and hers was the most expensive, so this should be it. Oh, I need a knife. One second. Let's get this open. This knife is dull. Okay, so what's in the box? It's so exciting. Paper! Oh, wow. This box is jam-packed full of stuff. It's insane. And it should be because it was, I think, around $150. Let me look over see. I don't know. Anyway, it was around $150. It was kind of expensive, but like I said, I really wanted them to do their science experiments this year. Oh, snap. It's like some kind of soil. Let me growing something. Another two of these. Rubber bands. Balloons. Gravel. Or pebbles. Another one of these little glass things. I've just opened one of these, I think, didn't I? Maybe not. Okay, let's open it. Pretty heavy. Ooh. Iodine. Mm. Okay, 
paper clips. Oh, testing paper of some sort. Empty bag, I must have done that. Marbles. I don't know what now. No idea what this is. Um, I don't know if it's magnetic material. No idea. A little funnel. Some styrofoam balls. A measuring tape. Horseshoe magnet. I gotta see this. What is that? What's that mean? Is it the shape of a horseshoe? Ah, it is. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. I do know what this is. I, I just, my brain wasn't working at the time. Okay, I know what a horseshoe magnet is. What is this? Spring balance. Oh, neat. So, so far, this stuff is really neat. I mean, I would not have been able to find this, this, these things without some issues. Oh, piece of actual fur, like rabbit fur. Yikes. Okay. Definitely, um, not have been able to find that. Okay, so a microscope slides. And we do have our microscopes. So I don't need, don't need this and that. Okay, yeah, well they're in there. Okay. I like how not all of this is plastic. Like, this is really legit stuff. Some of it's glass. So there's a, uh, a glass one of these. I have two plastics and one glass. I'm not really sure. I want to call it a beaker, but I don't think that's right. What is this? This is crazy. It looks like a little burner of some sort. Um, you got this little doohickey. I don't want to mess up too much because I don't know what it is. I don't know. Pretty cool. Let me see what the instructions say. Wickless alcohol burner. Hmm. Very neat. And we have this cool thing. Maybe this goes with that burner. Plaster of Paris, Electroscope Instructions, cool, Friction Pad, a silk friction pad, 6x6. Six six. Alright, I gotta move my camera because it's sitting on some of this other stuff. Um, oh, these are magnets, okay. String, nails. Cat grass, wheat. I love me some seeds. I'm gonna have to plant some of these somewhere. These are glucose test strips. Two rulers. My knife. Some doohickeys. Very cool. Yeah, I would have been totally lost had I not got this kit. I mean, really, it would never have happened. Okay, so a piece of wood. Now I have plenty of that. Filter paper. Whoop. 
some sand, a cover glass, um, don't know what that is. Ooh, what is all this? Ooh, a bunch of different kinds of paper. I don't want those to get mixed up, so. And all the business info. So yeah, let's see how much this one was. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's just a bunch of numbers. Never mind. But it was around a hundred something dollars. Hundred and fifty. That is the first kit. Done. Finished. Eighth grade Alpha Omega Publications Science Kit. Done. We're going to move on to, I'm going to go with this next one. I'm thinking that might be my fifth graders kit. We shall see. Just open this bad boy up. Again. Nice. Let me stick myself at the end of this video. How much was this one? I think this is around 75, 78, 80, somewhere in that proximity. Not quite as much stuff, um, but stuff that I would not have been able to find, apparently. So you have this big jar of stuff. Let's open that first. Just full. I love how they pack things because that's how I pack things. Stuff inside of things, you know? That's just paper, right? Yeah. Um, this is cool. It's like a clay bar, like green clay, red clay. I got a funnel. I have an idea. I won't be able to put this back like it is. Um, what is this? Okay, so this is some iodine for her. She also gets methane blue chloride. I think I said methane. This is methylene. I have no idea. It is blue. So it's three of these containers. Three. Okay. Whatever these little things are. Sterile, disposable, what is this? Can't read upside down. Sterile, sterile something. Yikes, it looks like a knife. Is this like a razor blade thing for my fifth grader? I'm not sure about that, we'll see. And a bag of dirt. We'll keep that in there. So let's put this stuff back. Try and get it all to fit again. Ow, I'll just poke myself. Oh, come on. I'm so close. Yay! I made it work. I did it! Alright. Next. Oh! We have a uh, paper towel roll. I have plenty of those. I could have found that. Um, but what's inside this? This is crazy. I hope I'm supposed to be opening it. I'm not messing up their experiment already, am I? Okay. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh, okay, cool. So the package they said don't get broken. That was genius. Um, so you got this little dropper, and I don't know what this thing is. There's something inside it, but some kind of thermometer. Yeah. Okay. So leaving that in there. Oops, something else in there? Nope, we're all good. Close that up. Then we have more of the basic slides for our microscope. Open those up and see what they look like. Hmm. 
Ooh. Oh, okay. That's where that cover glass is. Okay, gotcha. So we got some plain slides, concavity slides. Cool. We have some plaster of Paris. More plaster of Paris. Roller. Ooh, lima beans. I have my own, I won't take hers. Magnifying glass. Oh, cute. It's really nice too. It's not a, just a ch plastic cheesy one. It's actually metal and it's a nice weight. This is a spring scale. Oh yes, the other cat had one of these. What is this? Popcorn, what? Now, my fifth grader loves some popcorn, so this is going to be fun. And I might have to steal one of these seeds. We're gonna have to plant this one for reals. And this guy. Cool. All the info down there. All right, so that is all for the fifth grade science kit. I'm just gonna leave my little friend here because I'm gonna pick him up anyway, so might as well. Um, last but not least is my second grader. She's second grade now. Um, her science kit. It's the dullest knife ever. I just saw the sticker, so if yours comes and you don't know whose it is, well, I'm there. Sticker! Oh, cute! Sea monkeys! That is adorable. Alright, so first we have these cute little sea monkeys. I really want to open it and really see what it is. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Includes ocean zoo tank, feeding spoon, three pouches, instruction sheet. So you're going to grow. Oh no, what, really? Water fertilizer, uh, water purifier, instant live eggs, and growth food. What? What is this? You grow these things. This is, in, oh my gosh, it's insane. So exciting though. I didn't know they had things like this. I just saw the color and thought it was cute. <laughs> Magnifying glass. Probably so she can see her little creatures. <laughs> yes, nice weight again. Same one. A bunch of paper cups. Aluminum potassium sulfate. We'll see what that's for. Oh, she gets seeds too. And potting soil. So lima beans and cat grass. Oh, she has radishes as well and more lima beans. Look at that. My little farmers. It's going to be a great year. If y'all haven't watched my uh, garden videos, that's why I'm so excited about seeds. I have some garden videos, landscape videos, and I will link them down below in the comments. So go check them out. So that is it for my second graders box not near as much but I mean they're second grade yeah, um, they're gonna have fun with anything I think that this is money well spent and just looking in these boxes I'm really excited to science this year like we like science but we never have really done all the experiments we've done some st things that we had on hand but if you can splurge and get these science kits because they look exciting and I see that it's going to prepare us for, um, it's going to prepare us for success in our science labs this year. Cause what I'm envisioning is like on Fridays we'll do science lab and either here or our kitchen, we'll all set up our science things. We'll just go to town. So 
be on the lookout for some of those videos and blog posts. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, leave a comment. And guys, you can also follow me on Instagram and on my blog, This Beautiful Crazy Life. I'll link it down below as well. So until next time, see you later.